did my audio settings reset again? This seems loud. Hold on. Yeah, that's loud. That is quite loud. Why is it so loud? This is better. Yeah. Something like this, I think, is better. I don't know why he was resetting it. Maybe because I'm using, like, an old version of Citra here. I have not yet taken the time to look into a more recent version of Citra, but not quite fully up to date because the fully up to date one seems to kind of screw me. So, I don't know, maybe in the near future I'll just start looking for like, what is the Citra update that added save states or something like that? You know, that's maybe what I'll do. We shall see. We shall see here. I hope things are going well today, Mortis and Azzy. And also, Carvia came out of nowhere and dropped a 39 month resub and then just said hi. I came just to drop this. Have a nice stream. Bye. And then just dipped out immediately, like the goofy goober that he is. Um, I, uh, things have been pretty alrighty over here. Went and spent some time with, uh, spent some time with family today on my dad's side. And then tomorrow we'll be spending time with, uh, my mom's side because there's Canadian Thanksgiving going on. I guess I wrote in my going live notification of happy Thanksgiving all, or happy Canadian Thanksgiving all, but technically that's tomorrow, not today. But, you know, what, whatever. Wh who's keeping track, right? So, to get out there, it was a little bit of a drive. It's a little ways out, not too, too far, but, you know, a bit over an hour. So I transferred my save data over to my actual 3DS, and I, like, did the grinding map a little bit. I did it twice, and I came to realize that, um... It is absolutely atrocious without one, a dancer unit yet, which we should be getting here soon. And two, not having like all your unit slots because, you know, especially with no save states, you lose someone, they're gone forever. No undo time thing where Bob's, because I still have like three open tiles here. So, you know, while the yellow guys ignore you, the green guys will always come over and attack you and always target your weak units. And even if these guys aren't doing any attacking themselves, these guys will still strategize to like pair up attack with these guys. So it's just like, oh yeah, there's a green guy here and there's like two golden guys or something like that. And I have a weak unit over here. Yeah, the golden guy will start running over here and then the green guy will be like, ah, let's go here, punch. And then this guy punches and then dead. And I had like more resets than successful attempts and stuff and it kind of sucked. So I was like, okay, well, well, let's do it two times, gain like a couple of levels here, mostly on Mozu, and we got weapon level up, so like I can get a, uh, a new thing where Bob here soon, like an iron thing, though I'm pretty sure I'm broke right now, I'm gonna have to do the gold grinding map here at some point, but I figure before I do any, uh, more EXP grinding or any gold grinding, I need a full squad because my god, you know, I, uh, I learned how difficult that would get there, but yeah. <laughs> Seems like an interesting way to wake up there. But yeah, it's never too early to start Thanksgiving to thank everyone. That's right. Uh, earlier this week, I went and had a potluck with a bunch of people that I grew up with in the German bilingual program. And uh, one of them was hosting this potluck. And uh, we <laughs> and he called it Friendsgiving. And all these friendos came together and we were, you know, chatting and catching up. Since we only see one another like once or twice a year. Something like that. So that, that was interesting. So we had Friendsgiving. I had a uh, not Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving today, and tomorrow will be Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, you know? So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, there's a bunch of support conversations queued up, so might just end up going through that here real quick first. Also, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna grind a whole bunch while on the way out there and back, and I ended up not only doing the one map like twice, plus like four or five resets, because my god. Um, now, aside, what else can I do to make progress in Fate's Conquest? Let's review my spreadsheets. So I opened up my sheet for, like, Fate's Conquest on my phone here and, you know, went through this stuff. And I was like, alright, is everything, like, good? Does it all check out? And I decided, no. Because it looks like when I made this, like, a couple of years ago, I only really accounted for maximum stat modifiers and not so much growth rates. Like, I had someone that was in a mixed physical magical class that only had, like, a magic growth of, like, 2.5 or something like that. I was like, what was I on? Like, genuinely, back then. So I switched around that pairing, and then, of course, I had to switch around other pairings, because unlike Awakening, there isn't really wiggle room. There isn't gonna be, like, pair-up partners that are left unpaired. Like, everyone has to be paired, so I needed to rearrange a whole bunch. So I ended up changing, like, four of my planned pairings, and, <laughs> and then it meant that I had to change some child pairings as well because my builds changed. Um, so, you know, I ended up actually changing quite a bit of my plans on my spreadsheets. So, you know, my original plans, you might never see it. 
Um, but it's replaced with something that should hopefully be better now, you know? That's the, uh, that's the hope there, and we shall see. Um, the, some of the stuff that I concocted earlier today, it is seeming like my most OP unit is definitely going to be Kana and her support partner, like, no doubt about that. And, unlike my playthrough of Fate's Conquest Lua to Classic back when this first came out, I think Percy should be very, very safe. Let's just say, <laughs> let's say that he's going to be in a very difficult to kill position is all. So the lad has got to be protected this time. I'm not going to lose him like I did all those years ago. And hello, hello, Lionheart. I'm doing pretty all righty. Still an occasional cough and sniffle, but I'm like almost fully recovered. Also, I'm going to keep on switching between like Fire Emblem Fates Conquest and Detective Pikachu. Like a couple days ago, we did uh, Detective Pikachu into Fate's Conquest. Then yesterday, we did Detective Pikachu, and today we're doing Fate's Conquest. So, like, my brain is gonna have no idea whether it needs to be like playing a super passive role of like, eh, yeah, we're just kind of going through what am I even doing, or you know, laser focus to everything around me. So you know, yeah, let's go from I was feeling very sleepy while streaming yesterday to. This is probably going to end up being, like, super stressful and crazy, and we'll see how it goes, you know? You can do it, Felicia. Just put the pot back in the cabinet. Gently. Gently. Not the same old Felicia I've always been. I'm super Felicia. I'm transforming into an elegant maid, like a caterpillar into a butterfly. No, I'm gonna slip. Huh? That is nothing hurt. I sworn I slipped. Alicia, try to be more careful when you're on a ladder. Oh yeah, but it comes to voice stuff and me talking, I realized that during the first stream of Detective Pikachu and Fire Emblem Fates, the gain knob on my microphone was turned up a little bit. So what you, which one is it here? Um, it's this one. So what you would have been hearing would have been something a little bit more akin to this, which I believe is not exactly as pleasant on the ears, especially when I'm speaking up and it's getting into the red quite a bit in OBS. So when I was listening back to it, I was like, oh, that doesn't sound good. I, uh, I looked at my microphone. I adjusted this knob like this. So it's more like a normal talking kind of tone and not like a weird scratchy kind of mess. So... Yeah, I apologize for the first session of Fates being like that, or the first session of Fates Conquest being like that. And anyone that's tuned in up to this point, thank you for, you know, dealing with, like, ear damage. You know, so <laughs> there's that. Gotta be careful when you're on a ladder. Harmonia, you caught me. Just glad I arrived in time. Now, Felicia, you need to pay more attention to what you're doing. No wonder you get distracted all the time, talking to yourself like that. <sighs> you heard that? Having you catch me was bad enough, but hearing me talk to myself, I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. Let's get you back on the ground. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. So, you know, I might consider keeping this little incident to myself if you were to tell me something. Oh? And what's that? Remember how I was scolding you for always putting others before yourself? And you said that you did look out for yourself. What do you mean by that? Oh, that. Do I have to tell you? Yes. I've been wondering about it ever since. Okay, then. Just meant that I look after myself by looking after others. We're gonna have, like, some support conversation repeats across playthroughs, like some of these we'll have seen during Birthright and we'll see again during Revelations. So I guess it makes sense to have done that couple of year gap there. Um, and also, like, character PNGs on thumbnails. Like, whenever I slap a character PNG on a thumbnail, like, I will never have any repeats across, like, a singular playthrough. But across multiple playthroughs, there is going to be repeats. Like, I literally only have, like, one official art of Mozu, for example. So, you know, she's been slapped on a thumbnail on the Birthright playthrough and the Conquest one for her paralogs. And, you know, sucks to suck. <laughs> I just meant that I'd look after myself by looking after others. Huh? What do you mean? You were worried that I neglect myself by trying too hard to help out. Thing is, I'd only be neglecting myself if I didn't help everyone. If I stopped, I'd just feel terrible and useless wouldn't be happy. I know I'm a big klutz, but I take pride in working as hard as I can to serve others. But don't you find that exhausting? Very much so. But it's a meaningful kind of exhaustion, and that makes it all worth it. Alicia, you're a very inspiring person, you know that? Oh, stop, you're making me blush. But I don't want you to push yourself too hard. Remember, you can't help others very effectively if you're exhausted all the time. 
I know that. I promise not to overwork myself. <laughs> Good. Now, if only you could promise to keep away from the dishes, too. Harmonia, why do you have to go and spoil a perfectly beautiful moment like that? Yeah, that was kind of mean. Sorry, Felicia, I couldn't help myself. I do hope you'll always be there to help us on and off the battlefield. Of course, my lord. So there will be, like, repeats of support conversations. Like, I could just try to avoid, like, reading through the ones that we've already covered. But I'm not gonna have memorized the ones we've already covered. Like, what do you take me for? But yeah, who's getting a support for my character here is a surprise. I will say that she's gonna be the great lord, though. But yeah, um, Kong is Korn's Effie. All of Fates is Korn's Effie, is the case. Well, you do go with both in Revelations, a route that you can no longer unlock if you don't already have it on the 3DS, considering the services were shut down. Um, hello, Elise. Shall we start our training for today? Mm. Elise, are you feeling all right? Not really. It's just, I've been training so hard, but I still feel like a big old burden. Nonsense. You've already improved quite a bit. Patient, these things take time. You mean it? You really think I've improved a lot? Also, should I put up like the chapter splash thing where Bob under my camera here like before we start the chapter or like only when we start it? Because I have it all prepared here. Like it adds like some depth to the layout here instead of it just being like a big open space. So yeah, may as well just do that with like what we have coming up here, what we're basically on. Um, absolutely. The only way you'll keep getting better is to work hard every day. You're right. No more moping around. I'm gonna do my best from here on out. That's a spirit. So, what are we working on today? Kicks? Punches? Intimidating faces? Today, I'll be working on your upper body strength. Time for some push-ups. Go on, drop and give me 20. I can't even do normal push-ups myself anymore nowadays because of my wrist issues, where it's like if I put pressure bending them back, I can only really do knuckle push-ups, which is arguably harder anyway, but... Uh, 20 push-ups, like, in a row? Is that even possible? Besides, aren't push-ups for big, burly, muscular types, not cute little girls? That's just silly. Push-ups are for everyone. Everyone's serious about training, anyway. Yeah, tw I can do 20, but 20 is definitely, like, that's when I'll start feeling it. So, like, anything past 20, it's like, that's the good stuff for me. I see. Well, if you say so, Harmonia, here goes nothing. Like... 20, if we're doing good form, might be enough, might be a bit much for a little kiddo right off the bat. One, two, three, four. Doing great. Keep it up. Five. Uh, what's the matter? You're not quitting already, are you? If you want to get stronger, you can't give up when things get tough. My arms are wobbly. I'm getting all sweaty. I miss the days where I could do clap push-ups before my wrist issues. I can still do like a few, but then my wrists will start giving me issues and it's like, yeah, let's not do any more. No pain, no gain. You can't take any more. Remember why you're training. You want to be a stronger version of yourself, right? This is how you'll get there. Think you can handle it? I... I can. I want to be better. Stronger. Sweatier. That's the Elise I know. Now, let's try that again. This time, drop and give me ten. Okay? One, two, three... Hello, hello, Anima. Happy Thanks Monday giving. Yeah! That! How are you doing today, Anima? Early, but you know if you'll be available tomorrow. So yeah, may as well just say it there. Say it today. Well, you've been feeling like getting one so you can play some DS games as well as 3DS games you've always wanted to play but never got to. Well, if you picked up Fire Emblem Fates, it's literally impossible to go down like all the routes. Like if you don't already own them. Unless you get a custom firmware 3DS and you just like install it by other means. You know, because it's not possible to get these other routes anymore because of Nintendo and stuff. Um... Yeah, remember <laughs> she's legal in the English version. Why can't they just consent globally be 18? Yeah, Fire Emblem Fates is a very strange video game. You know, <laughs> it is very odd. I mean, you can do, but you know that you can barely do any probably that you'll probably be exhausted afterwards. Push them way too hard. Push them definitely are difficult. But yeah, if I focused on my upper body more, I'd probably be able to do them better. But you know, and Taekwondo, we do a bit more lower body than upper body stuff there. You know. Hello, Silas. Do you have some time? Hmm? Oh, hi there, Harmonia. Need something. Sort of. You mentioned that we were childhood friends, but I'm trying to figure out how you remembered that when I didn't. Oh, is that all? I wouldn't worry about it. Those old memories slip away for everyone. But isn't it strange that I'd forget someone so close to me? It became a castle night just so our paths would cross again. While I, on the other hand, 
thought you existed at all. Really, though, I wish you wouldn't worry about it. I remember now, and that's all that matters to me. My hard work paid off, didn't it? I became a castle knight, and here we are. I'm grateful for the chance to make up for lost time. Grateful, huh? That's a good way of looking at it. Thanks, Silas. There's the cheer I remember. Oh, hey, why don't we go take a little trip together sometime? Hmm? Sounds fun, but where should we go? Some place you always wanted to see. When we were young, you had a long list of places you wished you could go. But we couldn't go to any of them at the time. But nothing's stopping us now. Sounds nice. But I don't think we should go far, given the circumstances. You're right. But don't worry. I'll find a way to make it work. You have something up your sleeve? <laughs> Sorry if I made my plans seem grander than they are. If we can't go far, we'll limit our options to places within reach. You might not remember all the places on your old list, but I do. Great. Thanks for doing this, Silas. Eh? What are friends for? Now, go get packed for the trip. I will. Silas is a really good guy. So, how did I forget all about him? He told me not to worry about it. There's got to be a reason. Yeah, Silas is such a great guy there. But yeah. Oh yeah, and if there's carpal tunnel issues, you know, it's struggle with push-up stuff there. Is it any particular, like, form for wrist that you have carpal tunnel issues? Because I don't think I have carpal tunnel, I just have ligament issues. But for me, it's specifically on having, like, my wrist bent back like that. Like, applying pressure. Like, I can do this without any pain just fine. But if I apply pressure, like, I, uh, like, it used to really hurt me if I opened, like, a heavy door like that, like, on a university campus. One of those big metal ones, especially the handicap ones that have all those internal mechanisms that let you press a button and open it. I never use those buttons, so I just, you know, push it open and those doors are way heavier and then my wrist flare up. I'm like, ah! But luckily... They've at least healed enough that I can open doors and stuff without it flaring up. But if I'm doing something like push-ups, I can't do a whole lot like that. So, I just do knuckle push-ups instead. <laughs> is what I end up doing. Odin, are you sitting in this dark tent all by yourself? Oh, hey Felicia. Leave me alone. Are you okay? I feel terrible about the other day. I didn't realize you'd be so upset. I don't need your sympathy. I'll just... Curl up in a little ball where no one could see me. I've never seen you like this. You're really depressed, huh? I didn't realize the pal the pall I'd cast. Now it threatens to swallow me whole. Please don't be upset. Here, let me pour you some tea. A hot cup of tea always makes me feel better. This will cheer you right up. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to pour the tea on your head. It's no big deal. A scalding bath for my soul, my flesh singed but not destroyed. Now I feel as miserable on the outside as I do on the inside. It's just trying to help. There's something I still don't get. Am I really that weird? This world's full of crazies. Look at Jacob. He's a split personality disorder. The minute Lord Harmonious shows up, he's a celestial being with a heart of gold. Everyone else, he's a jerk. Silas? It's okay, but he's into some pretty strange stuff. Or Arthur? He must have done something terrible to the gods to have such bad luck. All of the ladies are sick and tired of being hit on by Laszlo. You know it's true. And Niles? Seriously, is anyone shadier than that character? Why single me out? I don't know. That's a good point. You're not supervising any of them, are you? No? Ah, this is so unfair. What's wrong with me? Poor Odin. Yeah, for you when you apply pressure, that and you apply on your PC for more than five hours it starts to hit, so there's just like some prolonged use there. Careful. Steady now. No! Practicing your poise, Felicia. Those poor innocent teacups. Ah, Master Silas. My apologies. I didn't mean for you to see that shameful display. I shouldn't make fun. You try so hard every day, and I respect that. You came here just to say that? Very kind of you. Well, no. Oh. It's the opposite, actually. There are some worrying rumors going around in the ranks. I haven't heard anything. But you've noticed, I assume, that Harmonia has been feeling poorly. Now that you mention it, it has seemed a bit distant. As rumor has it, and it pains me to say this, people are wondering if you might be responsible for his diminished state. What? Spilled tea on Harmonia, burnt his food, torn his laundry. The prevailing opinion is that these gaffes are taking their toll on Harmonia. 
No, but I would never. I'm saying that I agree with you. I just thought you should be apprised of what people are saying. That makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. Aww. I was like, why am I the one singled out? Everyone in this castle is a bunch of weirdos. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> it's, uh... There is a, one of the memes I have in my going live folder, speaking of it being a whole bunch of weirdos. Uh, I probably won't post it while going live with Conquest because I fully intend on every going live meme being like a Nori and Scum one. But uh, I'm fairly certain one of the ones that I have is like all the Hashin retainers. Like, oh yeah, my family has just served the Hashidin royal family for a long time and will continue to do so. Whereas all the uh, Conquest, the Nor retainers are... Just like, oh yeah, I, I tried to kill my lord once, but we're tight now, we're cool. You know, we used to hate each other, but now we're pretty tight. <laughs> Greetings! Hey Arthur, what's eating you? It's about the last time we talked. It'd be alright if I asked you what you were going to say. I am your loyal servant, milady. I would jump into a raging grease fire if you wished it. In fact, I would sit and roll around in one for you. Nay. <laughs> I'd throw myself off a cliff, wailing and bare as a darling babe into one for you. My oiled skin glistening in the estival air as I plunged into that filthy fire, in that fiery pit below, not filthy. Uh, that won't be necessary, I promise. That will never ever be necessary. But what I was thinking of when I said that it might be hard even for you. I suspected as much. You've been acting very strangely these days. I've come prepared, please. Anything you need, I shall perform. Uh, okay, you asked for it. But I wanted to ask you, it's about Lord Xander. About Lord Xander? Yes, I was hoping you could make Xander... Yes. I was wondering if you could make him smile. Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were going to say a corpse. <laughs> what a hilarious misunderstanding. Huh? Uh, n nothing, milady. Uh, it's not so funny now that I think about it. Oh, I get it. You're worried about how you're gonna do it. See, I told you. I knew it'd be tough even for the famous Arthur. N no, of course not. Ha! Nothing is too tough in my book. Especially not if it means helping someone. It's okay, Arthur. You don't have to lie for my sake. Uh, I, I'm not lying. I'm going right now to do it. You'll see. Onward! What? He's going now? We don't even have Xander in our army yet. Lady Elise. I have returned. Arthur, that was so quick. How did it go? Splendidly. While I was with Lord Xander, he didn't stop laughing even for a second. Really? How did you do it? Well, I found Lord Xander at the top of a hill, so I charged up it as fast as I could. But wouldn't you know it, I tripped right as I reached the crest. Tumbled the whole way down. Ha! It was quite the sight, I assure you. I don't think I've ever seen the prince laugh so hard in his life. Oh, that wasn't quite the kind of smile I was hoping for. I suspected as much, but one hopes. Oh well, maybe it's impossible. There are things even a miracle couldn't fix. Thanks anyway, Arthur. Pity Elise. Yeah, the, uh, the support conversations in this game sure are something, you know. Uh, I think you're lucky in that regard since you don't have anything other than just extremely weak lungs. Like, that could still, like, really take the wind out of someone there. Just like the good old days in Europe, isn't it? Wait, for, uh, being in a- being surrounded by a bunch of weirdos or the physical issues there? Well, the Arthur is not what you expected from a support. Yeah, same here. Hello, Lady Elise. I'm happy to report that I've successfully fulfilled your request. I located that starving family you mentioned and delivered a month's worth of food. Oh, wow, what a relief. Thank you, Silas. I'm sorry I asked you for such a big favor. Really, thanks a million. Don't worry, milady. Helping others is, whoops. Um, helping others is a passion of mine. Hey, you're so great. How can I ever thank you? You've already thanked me, twice. That is more than sufficient, milady. Oh, don't be a goose. Surely there must be something you'd like as a reward. Come on, don't be shy. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I mean, you certain? If so, I suppose... Well, to be honest, I do have something in mind. Maybe you could be my little sister for a day? Huh? Well, this is a little embarrassing, but seeing you and Harmonia together makes me long for a sibling of my own. That's really all you want? A sister for a day? It is. 
Doesn't it sound like fun? It does, like a blast. This is gonna be great. So you'll really do it? Wow, thank you, Lady Elise. No problem, but um, what exactly should we do on your sister day? Hmm? I hadn't thought it through that far. Give it some thought and I'll get back to you. I, you know, grew up as an only child, so I never really knew what it was like to have siblings. But nowadays I have my cousin's two kiddos that are basically like the closest thing that I have to siblings. And you know, we're always doing stuff together all the time. That uh, that potluck that I was at, that uh, Friendsgiving, um, the uh, house cap cake that turned into a cobbler was uh, baked by me and my cousin's younger kiddo trying to team up and do that. So we end up doing that and then watching a movie and stuff. I mean, well, more like her and my parents were watching a movie while I was trying to like salvage things by making some crab apple muffins instead that actually turned out really nice. And now I think I should make some crab apple muffins again. And it was the first time that uh, my Oma's crab apple tree that she grew from seed has ever been used for like anything baking wise. The crab apples have actually been used for anything. And like the little tart bites of these little smidge of crab apple in the muffins it was actually really good. Um, I quite liked it. Hmm? Where do you think you're going? What do you mean? The war council is assembling in a few minutes. Aren't you to be there? Yeah, but I'm not going. Oh? Why is that? Because everyone just treats me like a kid. Even if I go, they won't listen to me. The best way to get treated like an adult may be to think of yourself as one. Or uh, perhaps to simply act like one by actually attending your meetings. Everything they talk about always goes right over my head. I can never follow what they're saying. That's no excuse. You could try studying more between these meetings. Lord Leo attended such meetings when he was much younger than you are now. He did? Sure. Probably. Huh? I said sure, milady. Okay, well, I guess you're right. I should probably get going then. I'm happy you've come to see the light, milady. Attending these meetings can only help both you and Nor. If nothing else, you will learn more simply by being present. I've come to realize that the tone that I'm giving for Niles is basically my Hubert tone from Three Houses. Okay, I'll do my best. I was like, what does this tone I'm giving remind me of? All right, then Effie has a couple here. Silas, can I ask you a question? Sure, Effie, what is it? Why are you fighting in this army? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'm here because I'm sworn to protect Lady Elise. I owe her everything. She's my best friend, so it's a natural arrangement. You're not anyone's retainer. I did it for you. I see. So you think I'm some kind of mercenary? No, that's not it. I guess I'd just struggle with motivation if it weren't for Lady Elise. And yet, you're so dedicated. And one of our strongest fighters. And if you're not just in it for yourself, why are you here? Well, Effie, I'm really no different than you. I'm here to protect Harmonia. We have a long, complicated history, and I would do anything to protect it. That's all there is to it. I don't think that's true at all. What? How can you say that? The part about you being no different than me, it's just not true. Well, I'm not going to stand here and argue. It seems rather obvious to me. Sorry, I'm probably overreacting. I guess I'm just a bit sensitive. Just hold off on comparing the two of us until you get to know me better, okay? Fair enough, Effie. Port level C, and then one with Mozu here. Uh, Night Watch is so boring. I wish I had something to eat. Hello, Miss Effie. What are you doing out here so late? Mozu, I'm on watch. What are you doing with all that fruit? Oh, I'm just getting ready to hang it out to dry. Why? Won't it spoil? Oh no, not at all. It's actually a great way to preserve the fruit. After it dries for a few days, I'll take it into town to sell it. People love it. Oh, that's a really good idea. Did you come up with it by yourself? I guess so. I mean, it's just something I used to do back in the village. It's a good way to make a little money on the side, too. Well, I'm impressed. And to be honest, a little bit hungry. Okay, a lot hungry. Is that your stomach? Yeah, sorry. My watch is almost over, but I haven't eaten in hours. Then why don't you eat one of these? Your fruit? I don't want to cut into your profits. Oh, it's fine. I got a ton. Please, help yourself. Well, if you insist. Nom, nom, nom. Um, just save me a couple. When it comes to, like, plants and harvests and stuff, um, while we- while I was doing, like, Thanksgiving stuff with family, 
um, ended up chatting about some of the stuff that was uh, baked there and uh, you know for dinner there so I ended up chatting about like the stuff that I had recently made there um, of like the Haskap rhubarb cobbler thing where Bob and then the crab apple muffins and uh, my aunt was telling me that she was actually thinking about like getting some Haskap plants for her acreage there I was like oh how many do you want? Just let me know because I literally have 25 sprouts that I'm growing from seed right now 19 of which are on like my windowsill at work. It's awesome I have like the six biggest ones and the six smallest ones here at home And I might just end up bringing those to work sometime later as well if space keeps on getting limited And I keep on like growing more things here. But yeah, I literally have 25 sprouts of the things So I'm giving a whole bunch away. So yeah, when it comes to fun plants and stuff there was that so I was just like oh how many would you like? Let me know and I'll give you that amount in spring, you know, because I have a whole bunch. All right, I guess it's time for the next battle. I'd love to give uh, Mozu a uh, different lance, like an iron one, but I think I spent all my monies. That's the case. And I haven't done the gold grinding map yet, and I'll do it when I have, like, a more full squad and my dancer. So let's just keep on pressing onward, because I've come to realize how ludicrously difficult even the grinding maps are when you don't have a full squad. You know how easy it is to get janked over. So yeah, let's get a full squad. That would be very nice. So let's see here. Chapter 9, another trial. Harmonia ends the Ice Tribe's rebellion. Upon returning home, new orders are issued. Conquer Notre Segese. But first, the team must pass through Fort Dragonfall. Or we could do Invasion 1. Nah, probably not the best idea there. Also, why is my camera so much moved over? I'm just now realizing. Like, I can do this and then move this monitor in a little bit or something. Here, do something like that. That's good, right? Maybe? I don't know. Also, I did put the Detective Pikachu hat on the Master Sword print that's going to get sent off to Germany at some point here. Um, yeah! I would love to proceed to the next battle. Thank you for asking. Chapter 9, another trial. 